Hello, hello, crazy running people on the internet. I am here in Home Park in Windsor. Uh, this is where I'll run my third ever Backyard Ultra tomorrow. I am super excited. And because Backyard Ultras are becoming more and more popular, I thought I would talk you through a sort of a prep of things that I pack for every Backyard Ultra because uh, it has been a learning curve so I think it's handy to know what you could possibly need if you choose to do one and I think you should choose to do one you know uh, I mean Backyard Ultras they are harsh business yeah there is only one winner most people will DNF uh, legs will hurt muscles will ache and all sorts but I still think you should give it a go because first of all you can see how many miles you got in your legs and you will probably surprise yourself and secondly it's a really good opportunity to sort of uh, test your nutrition your gear and all sorts of stuff like that for long ultras that are not multi-lab so yeah backyard ultra uh, I will talk you through what food I take with me uh, what clothes I'm gonna prepare and what other gear I'll have so tune in and you'll find out so clothes let's start with clothes actually let's start with shoes my shoe of choice New Balance 1080s absolutely love them I feel like I can run in them forever the longest run I done in 1080s was 110 miles and I had no issues absolutely no issues no hotspots no blisters just love them uh, I have a backup pair as well, previous version, but equally comfy. Uh, actually, I got this uh, pair si half size bigger in case my feet swell. Uh, definitely don't want to run in wet shoes, so always bring a spare pair or more, depends how you, long you're planning to run for. And I am interested, what is your shoe of choice for Backyard Ultra? Please let me know down below, we can compare shoes, I'm excited. Now, clothes. Obviously, apart from what I'm going to wear on the day, I have spare vests, t-shirts. There's an important t-shirt here to intimidate my fellow runners and let them know I can, I can be there for a long time. Long sleeves, some more long sleeves. Now I've got spare shorts, long legs, because although we are in summer, it is British summer and it will be cold at night. Speaking speaking of cold at night, don't laugh. I've got a hat. Um, yeah, I just get chilly. If I'm tired and it's cold, I get chilly, okay? And I do have a pair of gloves as well. I wore them, literally, I wore them last year at Endure. And it was 30 degrees the day before and I still needed gloves at night. So it's better, it's better to have it than, you know, not. See, the gloves came handy. And my best tip, the best thing I brought to this Backyard Ultra is dressing gown, guys. This is so cozy. So cozy. <laughs> In a dry bag, I got spare undies. I'm not going to show you those, but I've got lots of pairs of spare socks. Uh, always need spare socks. You don't want to be running around in uh, wet shoes, wet feet, wet socks. Have spare socks. It stays nice and dry, no matter the weather. Uh, I got a vest in case I want to carry stuff around on the course. Couple, couple hats because uh, if it rains, I've got glasses. I, I become instantly blind if it rains. And a couple, couple of waterproof jackets, one compact one and one bigger one, bright one, that will be really good uh, to wear at night. But obviously it comes without saying that the amount of clothes you need depends on how long you're planning to, to be running for, um, of course. And also depends on weather, so just do research. In my experience, it's always better to have bit more than you need and not use it then at 3 a.m um, you know be wishing you have another pair of uh, socks and okay that was my child farting that was not me i swear it was it was him not me um yes i, I promise you there's a baby down there 
Where's the baby? There. See, baby, baby. I'm not farting on video. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Yes, yes. You know what? In latter stages of backyard ultra, a lot of it is about mental game, right? And it's really good to change t-shirt as you go because you feel fresh as opposed to like suck a sack of sack of garbage. So have that spare t-shirt, change that, uh, baby wipe yourself. You will feel better and you will achieve more and get further. Now let's move on to the next item on the list and that is food. My favorite, I love food. So food and nutrition, super important. If you don't eat or consume some sort of calories on every yard you are doomed you won't make it far so yeah that's super important i put everything in my in my box with my name on it it's got lid so it doesn't get wet uh, or nobody accidentally takes my my precious food um becker ultra is a really good opportunity for everybody to figure out what food agrees with them what nutrition works for them well it's like a good good training for like if you want to do 100 mile or like really long races uh, so if you haven't figured out uh, what is sort of your staple item to eat on long runs or if you're looking for some ideas, I'll show you what I've got with me. Let's start with liquid stuff. Looks eight, obviously that's a must. And Coke. Don't need to explain that. I like iced coffee, especially when it's warm. Uh, yeah, it gives you it gives you a caffeine boost as well. And I do have Tailwind with me, which I pre-make. Uh, Tailwind, I don't use it as my only source of nutrition, as you can see. But I use it as a sort of top-up if I need to get extra calories in. So they're in liquid form, easy, easy to get down. Now, um, I do have a few, few gels with me, but they're more like a backup. I'm not planning to use them as my main source of fuel. It's just if if i can't get anything else down then i have gels i have some cereal bars and now i'm vegetarian and i try to eat as much plant-based diet as possible but i uh, do have uh, dairy um so yeah there are some dairy items in there but it's all veggie so speaking of dairy items, rice pudding, it's really easy to get down and it's got good calories in there. One of my favorites, that's like my, my ultra staple. Yeah, it's shortbread. Believe it or not, shortbread is like super calorie dense food. That's why I avoid it unless uh, I'm racing uh, long, long stuff. Yeah, a really good thing to have. Croissants. You're too small for croissants. You just like milk. Yes. Now, if you have access to hot water, it's really good to have porridge. That comes handy, you know, like early morning. It lifts your mood. Yes. And I've got some instant pot. It's not noodles. It's a separate of rice. Yeah, so we're going to calm down. Okay, okay. He's going a bit hyper. Excited about all the food items that you can see. Um, where were we? Yes. Obviously, it would be easy to eat all sorts of muffins, cakes and all that stuff, chocolate bars. But I think after a while you start craving savory stuff. So I've got a lot of savory items with me as well. Nuts, salted, roasted, uh, crisps. They're always good. Crisps, I love. Uh, banana chips. You would not believe how many calories are in, in simple banana chips. That, that look healthy, but they're not that healthy. Um, I've got vegan muffins, really delicious, and what I made yesterday, that's my uh, little meal with quinoa, broccoli, mushrooms, and soya chunks, so that can be eaten even cold, it's quite tasty, and of course some healthy stuff, fruit, um, Probably I'll pack some apples as well. And yeah, that's it. Uh, when you're packing, it's really important to plan how long you will be there. If you just 
planning to uh, have a go and finish in I don't know 10 hours time fine if you're thinking okay I might be out there for one and a half day then you need to pack accordingly and probably consider somebody crewing for you um, but in my in on this occasion I am going to take all the food myself and also sort myself out this is my secret weapon that looks like apple juice it's not apple juice it's my fireball you know imagine 2 a.m. your you know your spirit is low well have some fireball that'll kick you in the nuts yes and now let's move on to the next thing okay and finally let's talk about the gear i am taking the amount of gear you need will depend on um the amount of time you're planning to run for so if you're planning to be there for days and days then you will need things like uh you know tent sleeping bag etc my event luckily is just local one so it is very unlikely that i will be there for so long i hope famous last words <laughs> so yeah i'm not going all out on the equipment what i am taking is a sort of fishing style brolly that i have not even unpacked yet so it will be nice surprise tomorrow <laughs> i have a camping chair very important uh, what i have is this super cool item is like a it's a camping light with all sorts of different settings you can change settings the intensity like all sorts i absolutely love it this is cool um there we go charges via usb you can hang it love it got it off amazon i'm gonna uh, leave link down below in case you're interested what i have uh, a bit obscure item for an ultra i have broly I have used it in the past, you know, let's be honest, you're not going to do all of it as running. Some of it might be walking and if you're walking and it's raining or it's really sunny, yeah. well, you can use a brolly, why not? Now, head torch, I will take another spare pair because you don't want to get uh, disqualified for uh, something silly like uh, your head torch not working. Make sure you have spare batteries, always need those. What else do we have here? Oh, uh, portable charger for devices, watch and phone. Make sure your devices are fully charged before you uh, start. That is always quite important. I always have headphones fully charged as well. I will be listening to some music and to, to, to some podcasts. I actually downloaded a few episodes of Rich Roll podcast when he interviews some really cool ultra runners. Um, like Camille Heron and and people like that. I'm super excited to listen to it. Any ideas for some more uh, podcasts that talk about ultra running? Please let me know. Let me know. Comment down below. I am quite interested. I always love a good sort of uh, podcast slash interview with a ultra running legend. So we got the headphones. What else? The usual stuff like tissues. Need that baby wipes always handy and some first um, first aid kit items like plasters, Vaseline and things like that. If it's sunny, sun cream don't want to get sunburn and that's it. Oh, actually, important thing: a rubbish bag. I always forget the rubbish bag, so this year I have one. And finally, I am taking some poles with me. I mean the course will not be changing at all it is actually completely flat but in case we're there for longer than uh, expected and my legs uh, start giving up i have both this is just my sort of backup option uh just in case hopefully i won't need them i can imagine i forgot a whole lot of things that i need to pack and i'll be waking up tonight at 2 a.m thinking oh i forgot to pack this and this item but i feel generally ready i definitely will feel super excited and if you're watching this video because you are planning to do your first backyard ultra best of luck guys just enjoy it you're gonna you're gonna love it or maybe you're gonna hate it but but 
do you know the experience experience will be something you will never ever forget and it will make you a different more confident um person so let's go backyard ultra yes morning backyard ultra we are ready to go in six minutes this is gonna be fun. Cars, yeah. Well, let's see the trophy. Let's see the trophy. This is the trophy. <laughs> nice, right? <laughs> so, bit of a post backyard ultra refraction. It all went well. Uh, I didn't wish I had anything I didn't have. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Well, I'm trying to say that I had everything I needed with me. Best thing I packed very last minute was a dressing gown. So I used that uh, between my laps at night when it was chilly and it made me feel nice and cozy. So dressing gown or dry robe. Yeah, that's that's my like top tip from this backyard ultra. Uh, one mistake I will definitely learn from is. Uh, I did change my socks a couple times when I, my shoes got wet. Yeah, yucky. Shoes, socks, yucky. Uh, but when I was doing my very last lap and I knew it was my last lap, I just carried on in wet socks because I could not be bothered. And the result was not great. So yeah, from now on, I will address all issues early on, even when I know I'm nearly there, because it was that was definitely not worth it. Yes, so we learned from that. And if you're doing backyard ultra soon, really pay attention to how well you prepare because as much as ultra running is about running, it is also about other factors like uh, your mental game, your focus and being prepared. So if you are well prepared in backyard ultra, you can potentially outperform people who are stronger runners than you. But by being prepared, you can do much better than them. So, if you found this video useful, guys, give it a like. Give it a like. Oh, that was yucky. Give it a like. Eh. And best of luck with your running endeavors. And I'll see you around. Bye. There's your toy. <laughs>